Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day, good weekend, Saturday. Gotta love it. Um, so we got the first time taking Xanax. Um, and just a warning, right, for YouTube, everybody. Um, don't take pills. This is not me bragging about it or trying to promote it or some shit. I'm just telling an experience, you know, just giving that warning, YouTube. Um, anyways... I've had a few Xanax stories, but those were all, like, blackouts and stuff. You know, this is, like, the first time I ever saw it, took it, was introduced to it, and this it, this is how it went, man. So, um, so I was, like, 16 at sophomore year of high school, and just like the other times I was taking Xanax, I had been to the rehab place, or I hadn't been to the rehab place yet, but I'd been kicked out of my house, and, uh, I wasn't really going to school too much. I was going, but, like... If if there's five days of school in a week, I went to like two of them, maybe three. You know what I mean? I'd skip most of the week or half the week or whatever, right? So um, the way that happened is I'm hanging out with this kid, right? The same one that let me stay over when I got kicked out. Not saying any names, but good person, you know? I don't really care about uh the decisions people make when they did nice things for me in the past. You know what I mean? So he's a nice person. He's a good person. So anyways, um, I'm there. And we're hanging out, you know, and at that point, I'm still smoking, like, I'm smoking, drinking, vaping, all that stuff, right? And I am I think I had tried Hydros, too, and Adderall, all that shit, but I had never tried anything, like, hard, hard, you know what I mean? I mean, the Hydros were the closest thing to hard, but, um, but, yeah, the dude that, whose house I was at, you know, he had drugs, and he was like, you know, if you ever want some, you could try them, you know, but... I can't, like, give you a bunch of free stuff, but you're welcome to try, you know, like, being nice to the fucking house guest. So, eventually, um, there was some people over, and we were hanging out in, uh, this dude's bedroom with, and there was, like, two beds, and then, um, or I think there, there might have been three beds in there, but it was, it was a good little setup, right? You sit there, and there's the TV, you can play games, you can watch stuff, whatever, right? So, we're sitting there, and there's, uh, it was like Family Guy or something like that was on, you know what I mean? Or maybe it was like music videos. It could have been music videos, like rap videos, you know what I mean? And they kept dropping Zans into Sprites and uh, some. I think a kid dropped in a, like Cherry Coke and then there was another, it was a ginger ale or something, I don't know. But they were all dropping Zans into drinks, right? And I was like, they were like, if you want one, you know? And I was like, sure. And But I didn't have a drink, you know what I mean? So I went to 7-Eleven, I got a Coke. I should have grabbed a Sprite, you know, but I grabbed a Coke and I put it in there and it made it taste like shit. It just tasted like Coke, but really bitter. You know what I mean? And I was nervous to try it too, because I had no idea what it did. The only time I heard about Xanax was like, I thought that was like a, like before I knew what it was, not now, but before I thought it was like a housewife drug. You know what I mean? I thought it was just something that like, like people just took like, for anxiety and they're just chilling you know what i mean i never really understood it i didn't realize it can fuck you up you know what i mean so once i drank the thing maybe 20 30 minutes passed and i'm not really feeling anything but i'm not chugging the drinks either because i was paying attention to the people around me and they weren't chugging their drinks they were just sipping and stuff and not like lean but you know what i'm saying they were like sipping the drink so i'm doing that too right around 40 minute mark all my fucking worries, dude, like thinking about getting kicked out, thinking about not going to school, wanting to be on the football team, but just quit. Like all these things that I was worried about, girls, whatever, just fucking left, just diminished, just completely left my fucking imagination, my brain, my head, whatever, right? No worries, just calm. It was like a blanket of calmness. And then maybe five, ten minutes later, another blanket of like, not fucked upness but just like being warm and feeling euphoric and good right and then um that was kind of my first time and we kept drinking it you know and you know how that uh how that ended it ended with everybody falling asleep <laughs> right and i fell asleep too but it didn't matter you know i had fun then the uh dude had a party there right and eventually i started buying them myself um but that first time dude i just I don't know. I remember being so fucking nervous, like, about taking it and thinking I was gonna, like, overreact or something or it wouldn't work. And then it literally was like, oh, this is what it is. You know what I mean? It just makes you completely fucking calm. 
I wish I would have known though, because it was my first time. I didn't, uh, I didn't take multiple or anything. Like they were safe with me. You know what I mean? They gave me one, and they were like, no more than that for your first time. You know what I mean? But later on, I learned that you take two or three or two and a half, three and a half, however many, right? You might black out and you don't remember shit. Like you really don't remember a single thing. And I'm not talking about like when you get blacked out drunk and you wake up and you remember bits and pieces, you know what I mean? Like just an example, I went to a party, right? And I've talked about this story, but I'm sure not everybody that's watching this has seen that one. So I went with this girl that I wasn't too cool with, but we were fine, right? We went there and I took a lot a lot of Xanax with me. I took like seven, eight, maybe nine fucking bars. And I know I shared a little bit when I got there, but I took like a good amount too. I took like two or three of them. The only thing I remember after like getting there and meeting people, the only thing I remember is snorting something at some point in the night. So that could have been fucking anything. You know what I mean? I'm guessing, I'm hoping and guessing it was just one of my Xanax. I crushed up and did that for some reason, but... I don't think so. You know what I mean? I don't know. So, you know, you got to be careful because literally I didn't remember shit and I lost my wallet. I remember I left my jacket there, like all this shit. And when, if you like spend money or buy something or use stuff, you know, Wally or fuck it. Like, let's say you take a Zan or multiple Zans, right? And then you fucking smoke the rest of your weed. When you wake up again or like if you black out, or not black out, but Xan out, bar out, right? And you come back to, you're going to be like, where the fuck's my weed? Like, that type of shit. That's what's not cool about it, you know what I mean? And it can be, it can be very dangerous, so. You know, maybe don't do that, but. That's why you got to stick to weed. But honestly, the reason, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, the reason I, like, liked it, like, the reason it was my shit for a while was literally I had so many things I didn't like to think about like everything in life at the time was pretty much not good there was a few things like I had a few friends talking to me and I was uh kind of talking to this girl still but not really like it was towards the end of something um so there's a few good things it wasn't all bad just the moment I would take just one let alone two or three I I would just had no worries right I'd have no worries then I'd feel euphoric and good, and then I would forget everything. I would just, like, zan out, you know what I mean? Bar out, whatever. So, those are kind of, like, the three stages. And I remember there was only one time I went, like, way too far, too hard in a uh, in a hotel. But I'll tell that story when, um, when it... I don't even know. I'll tell that story when I think it's a good time, um... But I think I'm going to get criticized a lot for that one. So I'm not too ready for that. You know what I mean? But fuck the hate comment. I don't really care. But anyways, hope everyone has a good weekend. Hope you like the story, right? If you've taken Zans, you know, right? You know that your worries just fucking float away. And then you feel great. And then you feel nothing, you know? And that's the rotation. And you can wake up and you feel groggy as fuck. I never mentioned that. You feel like you just drank like two bottles of NyQuil, but... I don't know. I'll never forget it, right? Even though I'll never take it again, probably. I say probably because I don't know what life has in store for me, but as, as long as everything goes well, I'll never take it again. But I'll never forget how the Xanax made me feel, even if it's bad. I'll never forget how it made it, me feel, right? Just no worries. Feel good. Fucked up. Forget everything, right? And just repeat the cycle. But... All right, it's getting a little toasty in here. I just got a new fucking haircut, and this lady put, uh, I never put product or shit in my hair. She, like, put this shit in my hair so it's, like, hard, you know what I mean? I don't like it. It gives me that fucking, like, almost a bowl cut look. Like, I had to fucking fix that for tomorrow. <laughs> but all right, I'll get some gaming videos out of some. Um, peace out. Be safe. Sub, share, comment, whatever, man. Peace.